Tomato soup is a favorite around the world, no matter where you go. But today, we're going to do something just to kind of elevate that a little bit and give it a little bit more down-home flavor. Today, we are doing a cream of smoked tomato and basil soup. Hey everybody, it's Walter from Artistic Gourmet Adventures. My wife Kim and I own this unique small group tour company where we host groups of 6 to 12 guests for one week luxury adventures in beautiful locations throughout Europe and the United States. I have the privilege of being the adventure chef, creating and preparing daily gourmet meals for our guests. We also enjoy creating in-home private dinners for clients and friends when we're back in the States. Many of our guests request our recipes and want to learn cooking tips. So, in this video series, from our cozy home kitchen here in the beautiful Loire Valley of France, we will demonstrate a wide variety of recipes, from culinary classics to originals, as well as covering professional kitchen techniques for the home chef. For more information on Artistic Gourmet Adventures, check our website, linked in the description below. Now, let's start cooking! For our cream of smoked tomato and basil soup, we, we're actually going to use, you can use five or six uh, fresh whole tomatoes, and I've got a couple of large tins of whole peeled tomatoes, and these are basically 28, 28 ounces each. And uh, so we've got those two for the tomatoes, Then we've got our onions, I'm using about three medium-sized onions, and a little bit of olive oil. We're gonna put that on the onions and the tomatoes to, uh, to get the smoking process going. And then we've got our basil, and I've got about six sprigs, six whole sprigs of basil here with the leaves. And we've just got that tied up in some cheesecloth. And then we're gonna finish our soup with a liaison. And a liaison is uh, basically a, uh, a cream and egg yolk mixture that just makes your soups come out so silky, it's like a velvety or velvety uh, texture. So, um, and then once we, once we get our ingredients in the, in the pot, I miss the, uh, our chicken stock. So we've got about a liter of chicken stock as well. And those will be our ingredients. And today, since we're doing a smoked tomato and basil soup, we are going to be using a tabletop smoker. Sometimes you just don't feel like going outside and getting the big smoker all hooked up. So we are just using a simple tabletop smoker. I've got some wood chips in here and uh, we're going to smoke our tomatoes and our onions. And just to show you on the tomatoes, I've got these scored. So you just come in, you just score the um, backside of the tomato here along the seam. And then we're going to take out the belly button. And that way, once the tomatoes are smoked, they will, the skin will come off easily. You should be able to just wipe that skin off. And if it doesn't come off easily, you can just put it in some, some uh, hot water, blanch it for a few seconds, and shock it in cold water and remove the skins that way. So that's going to get us started, and uh, we'll get, uh, get going with our soup. It's been about 20 minutes and our onions and tomatoes are finished smoking. So let's check them out. Okay, and by the way, this, this is a countertop smoker. You can also get uh, a stovetop smoker, one similar to this, but just that doesn't have the, the, the burners on the bottom that will fit just straight onto your stovetop, either gas or electric. Uh, but this is just really handy when you've got a small amount of vegetables or even, you know, two or three chicken breasts or a fillet of fish that you'd like to smoke. And it supposedly they don't uh, create smoke in your house. You can smell them a little bit, but uh, it's just a lot easier than going out and lighting your smoker and uh, having to tend to the fire and all that kind of stuff. So. Um, I'm just going to demonstrate doing uh, one of the onions because they will be a little bit slick when you first take them out. So uh, when we peel the onion, we cut off one end and we cut off the other end. So now what we're going to do is just to put it down flat just like that. And let me move that out of the way. And we're just going to come straight down the center just like that. And just notice I've got on top of my regular wood cutting board, I've got a silicon one 
that is has is one of the grip grip um, uh, boards so that this doesn't slip. So we've just got our onion there, and now we'll just slice it right down the side, just like that. And this is a good process for slicing your onions when you're getting ready to cook with them. Just uh, we sliced it long way just like that. And now we're just going to come straight down the side here. Long ways and then flip it this way when you get to the end of that. And using your knuckle here to guide your knife. Always. All right. So that is how we want to do our onion. Now the next thing I just want to show is how we can peel our tomatoes. So just like when you blanch tomatoes, um, it, you don't want to all cook them all the way. In this case, it doesn't matter that much because they're going to get cooked anyhow. But the skin just comes right off. Should just peel off very easily where you scored it. And so that's how we do our tomatoes. So we'll get the rest of our onion sliced and our tomatoes uh, peeled and quartered and we'll get to the pot. To start our soup process, we will sweat some onions, which basically means we're going to cook them. We're going to sweat the onions that we smoked already. Um, they've already since they've already been smoked, they're partially cooked. Um, but we're just going to cook them a little bit more till they're soft and translucent. And for this, in this case, we are using extra virgin olive oil rather than um, a peanut oil or grapeseed oil because we're not going to get it a really high temperature and it's a seasoning element. So extra virgin olive oil with just a pat of butter. And that's probably about and maybe a tablespoon of butter. And in with our onions. And we will just let these cook and again you don't want to rush this step in this case we don't mind getting a little color on the onions because they are smoked after all but we don't want to really burn them we just want to uh, to get them soft and translucent so we'll probably let that go about 10 minutes and just stirring every once in a while and then we'll add our tomatoes our onions are nice and sweated and we will now just add our we'll add our smoked tomatoes first and I like to add the smoked tomatoes first just to get them um, a little cooked before we add our our tin tomatoes And we'll get them all soaked in the, in the oil and the butter. And now we can add our tin tomatoes. Very good. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll just cover this. Uh, let's see. We'll use... I've got a liter of, of chicken stock here. We're probably going to use... Yeah, we use about half of that so so far and if we need more later we can we can certainly add it but we will now bring this up to the boil and uh, then we'll turn it down and let the let it simmer and uh, let our tomatoes cook and basically stew and uh, then we'll get them all mashed and, and ready for our soup Okay, our mixture has come to the boil, and so we're now just going to turn it down and let it simmer. We will add our uh, basil in, and we will go ahead and put the lid on, turn that down, and we'll let that go 35-40 minutes until the tomatoes are nice and soft. All right, our tomatoes have stewed for about 40, 45 minutes. So I think everything is looking good. We're gonna go ahead and we'll remove our basil from the mixture. Actually, we'll squeeze it out. Put everything else back in there. And now what we'll do is we're going to use our stick blender 
and blend this up. If you don't have a stick blender, you can always put it on a stand blender and do it that way. But a stick blender just makes it a lot more uh, convenient. So we'll start on low. Just turn it on high. Okay, looks like we are very well blended here. And at this point, you may want to uh, just just double check the consistency of your soup, and if it looks like it may be a little too thick, which this one does. I'm just going to add in just a little bit of our, of our chicken stock. Okay. Okay. And our next step is now going to be to strain the soup into another pot. So we are going to, we're using, again, we're using our uh, chinois or a china cap sieve. It's a fine mesh strainer and it's got a really nice base on it. So we're going to strain our soup into there. And you can see how uh, handy a strainer like this comes when you're doing large pots of soup like this. And we'll just take our ladle and we'll push it through and we'll just keep doing that until everything is is pushed through the pot through the sieve finishing up uh, pushing our uh, tomatoes through the sieve you can see that almost almost all of it is actually in the in the pot for the soup and there's just a little bit of, of the pulp left but that's uh, it's going to be some seeds and if there was any tomato skin left over, that kind of thing. So when you get done pushing that through, just make sure you go down the side of the sieve with your spatula and um, get everything off the side of the sieve. And now we're actually just going to go right back into the... The original pot just because it's easier to work with a smaller pot and now what we'll do is we will put this back on the on the heat and we'll turn it on just on let it simmer let it come up to a simmer and we are now going to make what's called a liaison and a li liaison is basically um, a cream uh, and egg yolk mixture and it does two, it serves two purposes uh, one purpose is to of course get that creamy uh, texture that we want in our soup but it also serves to uh, alleviate some of the astringency of the of the tomatoes so um, we are going to let our soup come up to a, to a simmer and now we'll make our liaison and the, for, for the liaison, like I said, anytime you make a liaison, it's going to be, um, it's generally uh, one egg yolk per half cup of cream. So in our case, we're going to do, we've got a larger amount here. So we'll do two egg yolks and uh, one cup of cream. So to do that, just separate our whites from our yolks. And our yolks are in. And now our cream. Now we'll just whisk this, whisk this cream into the eggs. Okay. 
nice and mixed in very nicely. So what we'll do is we'll temper our soup, or we'll temper our egg yolks with a little bit of the soup before we um, put the, uh, the, the whole amount in there. So let's put a little bit of our soup in here. And, and the reason we're doing this is so that we don't scramble our egg yolks. That would not be the texture that we want. So, and now just straight back into our soup. Get it all stirred in. And at this point, um, depending on the consistency that you're going for, if you want something a little bit thicker, you could certainly let the soup reduce for a little bit. Um, in this case, I think we're in, in good shape. It's a, it's a really nice, uh, nice uh, consistency, very nice and silky. And so now let's taste it for seasoning. Okay, it's very good, and we actually haven't even seasoned it at all. We've um, the only seasoning we've had has been the, the, the olive oil, and I put a little bit of salt on the uh, onions when we uh, started to sweat them. So now we'll just adjust the seasoning with salt, and um, again, just when you're when you're seasoning soups, just put a little bit in then taste it, a little bit more in, then taste it. And so we'll continue that until we get the, to the, the flavor we want, and that'll be it for our soup. Okay, our soup has uh, it's pretty much finished. We um, have added our liaison, and we've seasoned it with salt. And at this point, if you want to put a little bit of black pepper, you certainly can. Um, but we um, just a couple of things about about soup if it depending on the acidity of your tomatoes if the soup seems a little astringent sometimes it means that you may need to add a little bit of salt to it or you may then need to add a little bit of butter because butter will serve to calm things down a little bit and if it seems a little bit too heavy you could always do a squeeze of fresh lemon juice or just a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar um, and uh, balsamic vinegar adds a really nice, a nice uh, extra little flavor. But literally only about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of balsamic vinegar, if you're going to add that. So, uh, and it's best once you're when you're seasoning the soup, it's really best to season it, and um, you know the fire is off. Let it cool down a little bit before you try it again. In fact, if you'll uh, just take some and put it in a little bowl. Um, and taste that and then taste it again after about a minute or so after it's cooled down because the salt sometimes takes a little bit of time to, uh, to get itself worked through. So um, that's kind of our finishing element of our soup and let's plate it up. Our cream of smoked tomato and basil soup is ready and uh, now let's prepare the garnish. And the garnish for today is going to be very simple. We've got just a dab of creme fraiche that we'll be using. And we're just going to do some fresh basil. And so we're going to chiffonade this basil. And to do that, you literally just take some leaves, line them up like that, or stack them up. And then just roll them up. And with your knife, we're just going to go straight down, just like that. Again, using your knuckle to guide your knife and all of your other fingers are behind. And you can go as fine or as thick as you'd like. Okay. So that will get our basil. Well, it is that time. It's time to taste our soup. And uh, 
What a great moment. Look at that. Oh, it just looks, it looks even prettier when you put it in a nice terrine, doesn't it? Okay, so let's just plate it up. About just a little bit more. And I'll tell you what, this soup can be enjoyed. Uh, we're having it warm right now, but it, it tastes just as good cold as it does warm or cool as it does warm. So that's fantastic. We've uh, seared up a little bit of pancetta or some a uh, little bit of bacon. We'll just put a little bit of that on top and a few extra basil leaves. And normally if you've got creme fraiche, creme fraiche is great, but we don't have creme fraiche, so we're just going with a little bit of heavy cream. But that should taste just as good. And we'll just make a nice fun little whimsical pattern. That's gotta make it taste better, right? Okay, so let's give it a try. Mmm. Mm. Oh man. You know, it's it's got plenty of basil in it, but just having a little bit of that fresh um, chiffonade basil there on top is fantastic. But the first thing I think that hits you with this soup is just the just the, the umami, just the, the taste that you can't describe. And I think it's because of the, the deep flavor you get from the smoke. Um, of course, the pancetta helps. But uh, the smoke, the, the tomatoes, the fresh tomatoes that have been smoked, the onion, um, wow, just everything. Mm. Very nice. So again, this can be used, can be eaten warm or cool for the summer. So hope you enjoy it. Hope you make it. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more, give us a thumbs up below and hit that subscribe button, it's free. And ring the bell if you want to be notified as soon as we release a new video. Also, let us know in the comments if you have any special recipe requests. We really appreciate you tuning in. See you next time.